we're about to show you two of the largest and most expensive homes for sale in America. A $279 million mega listing in Colorado and a massive $250 million estate in Texas. The place in Colorado includes some insane extras. And when we land the chopper on this gorgeous estate, we're going to show you what's inside the 22,000 square foot main residence, take you around the $50 million car collection hidden inside this building. And we'll even show you the most expensive suite inside the 72 room resort. Yeah, this place comes with its own luxury hotel and much, much more. And then we're headed to Texas to tour an even bigger estate. This one's more than four times the size of Manhattan. We'll land at the property's private airport. Check out what's inside the mansion built for a billionaire. And also see what's inside the one he built just for his dogs. Plus, we'll explain why the owner paid to move this modest house hundreds of miles. From Oklahoma all the way to Amarillo, Texas. These two massive ranches have a lot in common. And there's a lot that's very different about them too. Let's take a journey to both and find out which one you like best. I already have a favorite, but sadly I don't have a quarter of a billion dollars burning a hole in my pocket like Jesse does. Oh, I mean, come on. Our first stop is Colorado. To get to this place, we flew into Grand Junction and drove over an hour towards a town called Gateway. A drive that took us through some of the most beautiful scenery in the entire country. I mean, it's so beautiful, you can't help but stick your iPhone out the window and try and capture it. At one point, we had to pull over because there was goat traffic on the highway. Cute video, but I don't think those are goats, Ray. Anyway, to give you the most epic views of this place, the first thing we should do is hop into the chopper so you can get the lay of the land. Ray, watching you flying around those narrow canyons looks insane. I was freaking out because there was no doors on the heli. That is so crazy. The property is 8,000 acres, so there's a lot to take in. Those red rock formations you're looking at are around 500 million years old. Wow, and the canyons are super lush and green because there's a river that flows right down the middle of it. We're headed over to the property's main house, but check out what we see along the way. There's a private two-mile racetrack. Where you can drive around on ATVs. That looks nuts. Would you get on one of those? Absolutely. There's also a shooting range for target practice. And horse stables with 500 acres of riding trails. Hey, buddy. Those horses were so pretty, and I think our drone freaked them out a little. Although right now, they look like they're posing for the camera. Now let's check out the 22,000 square foot main residence. It comes with a grass landing strip for private planes. A $3 million chopper and landing pad. Plus a small herd of bison. That are so cute, Ray could not resist a selfie. There's a buffalo with a little baby. And this baby bison wasn't our only wildlife encounter. We spotted this adorable little frog checking us out. And I almost stepped on this. It's a tiny rattlesnake. That would have ended our shoot early. Yeah. Every inch of this estate is owned by the founder of the Discovery Channel, John Hendricks. Wow, I guess the Discovery Channel pays really well. Maybe we should go work there. Maybe we should check out what's inside his house. When you walk in, there's what looks like a giant rock hanging on the wall with a fern and fish carved into it. That fossil is between 48 and 53 million years old. And Hendricks paid around $200,000 for it. And it comes with the house. He's also got some animal skulls in his office. Of course he does. Now check out the living room. It has ceilings that are two stories tall. There's a chef's kitchen. Plus a pool table and a home movie theater. But there's also something we've never seen at someone's house. It's an observatory for stargazing. You can dial in any celestial object. And the whole thing automatically rotates and brings it into view. And there's so much more to show you. There's an off-the-grid cabin at the top of this mesa. It's got three bedrooms, a two-car garage. And it's all powered by these solar panels. Now for that resort, which is where we stayed when we filmed here. This is the 72-room hotel that Hendrix designed himself. It's called Gateway Canyons. This resort is so big, the camera guy and I use segways to get around it. Ray, you're gonna break your neck on that thing one day. We safely cruised around the property and found that the hotel has two restaurants. And several pools, which is great because during the day, it gets very hot in Gateway. And check this out, there's even a spa on the property. We stayed in a standard room that usually costs more than $400 a night. But on the ultra high end, they have two bedroom suites. With a fireplace. A dining room. And a hot tub. At the height of the season, that room runs around 1300 bucks a night. 
Remember that every single thing we've shown you so far, including the resort, is part of the sale. And so is Hendrick's personal car museum. And all of the American classic cars displayed inside. The wheels range from hot rods to Model Ts. It's a collection valued around 55 million bucks. The museum is laid out in a timeline, so it's like traveling through car history. The oldest car in his collection is this Cadillac. It's from 1906. And his most expensive ride is parked in its own room. It's a 1954 gold Oldsmobile F88. That Hendrix bought for $3.3 million. And you don't have to travel very far to gas them up. This $279 million deal comes with its own general store and a gas station. Okay, did we miss anything? Probably yes, but I can't think of it right now. Okay, good, because I am out of breath. Well, I hope you saved some energy for Mega Ranch number two, which, if you can believe it, is even bigger. This one is 100 square miles, and I can't even wrap my head around that. It means this property is more than four times the size of Manhattan. Crazy. And CNBC's Robert Frank is coming in for landing. Whoa! This is unbelievable. Not only do you have your own private landing strip, but this is an airport. Robert and the crew just touched down on the $250 million estate of the late billionaire financier and oil tycoon, T. Boone Pickens. Robert, welcome to Mesa Vista Ranch. You've got a 6,000 foot runway. It can take just about any plane you want to bring in. How big is this property? Well, 65,000 acres, and I'd love to give you a tour of it. <laughs> we got to get started. Pickens owned the place for over 50 years. Before he put it on the market for a quarter of a billion dollars. Guiding Robert on this mega open house is the billionaire's right-hand man, Jay Rosser. And it's some of the best looking property, we think, in the state of Texas, if not in the country. We were flying, and you said, oh, we're over the ranch now. I expected we would start to touch down. But we kept flying for another 10 minutes, and we were still over the ranch. 100 square miles, Robert. Right now, they're headed east across this massive property. To check out the main residence. House has 12,000 square feet of living space, 4,000 square feet of porches. This is what we call the billion dollar view. That's a good day when you could start out looking at that view, huh? A little glimpse of paradise. Come on, we got a lot more to see. Now this part is wild. When you have billions in the bank, there's nothing you can't do. Listen to this. Do you know the old saying, you can never go home again? Well, if you're Boone Pickens, you can get the home brought to you. I mean, this is his childhood home. 217 North Kelker, Holdenville, Oklahoma. So Boone grew up in this house? This very house. It was given to him by his wife, Madeline, on his 80th birthday. It was literally split in two, driven from southeastern Oklahoma. That's amazing. I want to see the inside. So Boone's entrepreneurial instincts really started in this house. As a child, he grew up always wanting money. Yeah. So we had a newspaper route. And his mother knew he was making money. It used to drive her crazy. She wanted to know how much he made, how much he had, and he never would tell her. So let me show you where he hid his money to keep it away from his mother so she never knew how much he had. So that's where Boone's first fortune was hid. That's exactly where it was hidden. And he never went without money ever again. Believe it or not, the quarter billion dollar asking price for Mesa Vista does not include Pickens' old house. But it does buy a sprawling golf course, a private chapel, and this giant house built just for dogs. Yes, it's like a dog mansion. Wow, that's just, that's the kennel? That's the kennel. Two-story kennel. How many dogs are in there? Got 40 dogs in there. That's not just the nicest dog house I've ever seen. That's one of the nicest homes I've ever seen. I could live if I, there. If I come back as a dog in the next life, I want to come back as Boone's dog. I think I hear him. Robert, you may hear one of them. Wait till you hear the other 39. <laughs> that, 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 That'll make good. an impression on you. It is loud in here. <laughs> These dogs look super fit. They're exercised five days a week. And remember, the hunting season is 120 days, and they're in the field 80 of those days. The dogs are trained for quail hunting. And many of Boone's guests come from all over to do just that. And they stay right here at the epicenter of the ranch. The lodge itself is 33,000 square feet. This whole complex can seat or accommodate probably close to 40 people. 
This is a massive dining room. Well, he woke up one day in the original dining room and said, we can do better than that. So he built a second dining room. He said, we can do better than that. So what you see is this dining room, which finally met the expectations of T. Boone Pickens. Got it on the third try. Third time's the charm. Yeah, having that kind of money is just mind boggling. And speaking of money, if you had a quarter billion dollars lying around for a vacation ranch, which one would you choose? So full disclosure, I'm partial to Colorado because marijuana is legal there. And I love, loved Gateway and all those cars. I'm gonna go with Colorado all the way and I'm gonna get so high in an old Model T. What would you pick? Okay, uh, well, I'm pretty sure most of my family from Georgia would go with T. Boone's Epic Hunting Ranch. But since I'm not much of a quail hunter myself, I'm gonna go with Gateway with you. I'll hang out in that Model T, but I'm not gonna inhale. Isn't that what Bill Clinton said? No one believed him and no one will believe you. Let us know which ranch you'd choose, and if you like this video, like it, share it, and give us a follow. If you don't like it, tell us what you don't like about it in the comments. No, please don't do that. <laughs>